Born into an aristocratic family in 1874, Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill would rise to become one of history's most formidable leaders. His early military career, which saw action in British India, the Sudan, and the Second Boer War, set the stage for a lifetime characterized by perseverance. Churchill embarked on his political journey in 1900, serving as a conservative member of parliament, carving his path through the complex corridors of British politics. He showcased his versatility by authoring books and reporting as a war correspondent, building a reputation beyond the battlefield and ballot. His tenure as First Lord of the Admiralty witnessed the calamitous Gallipoli campaign, a setback that would not hinder his political ascension. During the interwar period, Churchill's career faced ebbs and flows, but his relentless criticism of appeasement policies earned him both ire and admiration. With Europe on the brink, Churchill was appointed Prime Minister in 1940, a beacon of resilience amidst the darkness of the Second World War. His speeches stirred the British spirit, we shall fight on the beaches, crystallizing the nation's resolve against Nazi Germany. He formed crucial alliances, notably with Roosevelt and Stalin, shaping the strategy that ultimately led to the Allies' victory. Despite triumph in war, Churchill faced electoral defeat in 1945, a stark reminder of democracy's capriciousness. Undeterred, he remained a formidable figure in politics, warning of the Iron Curtain descending across Europe, foreshadowing the Cold War. Churchill's second term as Prime Minister from 1951 to 1955 was marked by efforts to maintain Britain's standing amidst decolonization and the Cold War. His contributions to literature, including a Nobel Prize in literature, highlight his profound intellect and diverse talents. Winston Churchill's legacy is controversial. He was a war hero to many, yet his policies, particularly those affecting India and other colonies, are criticized. The phrase, blood, toil, tears, and sweat, anchored his first speech as Prime Minister, exemplifying his commitment to British fortitude. Churchill's foresight during the rebuilding of post-war Europe, including advocating for a United States of Europe, underscored his visionary outlook. He left a profound impact on British cultural identity, immortalized by his defiant V-sign and unwavering voice during Britain's darkest hours. Churchill's death in 1965 was mourned by a nation in the world, signifying the end of an era for the British Empire and global politics. His state funeral, a testament to his monumental status, was watched by millions, a fitting tribute for a man who shaped the 20th century. That was a glimpse into Winston Churchill's life. Comment to suggest new story. Share, like and follow for more.